Just when we thought the SUV was on the edge of extinction after the 2024 model year, Ford pulled a U-turn with a surprise move. The fan-favorite 2025 Edge is sticking around after all. With a change of heart, Ford has decided to keep the SUV in production, proving that there's still plenty of gas left in the tank for this beloved model, but with some serious updates. While many thought the SUV was gone for good, the growing demand in the two-row midsize SUV market is pushing the company to rethink its decision. Despite building the current Edge L, a three-row SUV in China, Ford has recognized that the segment is still attractive and competitive in the United States, prompting the vehicle's return in a redesigned form for American consumers. The two-row midsize SUV market remains strong, with key competitors like the Chevy Blazer, Nissan Murano, Toyota Venza, and Hyundai Santa Fe continuing to capture interest. These models offer a blend of practicality, performance, and comfort that American buyers still desire, making it clear that Ford can't afford to give up its share of this business. With so many automakers doubling down on their midsize offerings, Ford knows that its presence in this class is vital. The Edge has long been a favorite for buyers looking for a versatile, stylish, and comfortable SUV, and the return of the 2025 model is aimed at reclaiming its position in this competitive space. As we look ahead to the 2025 Ford Edge, the model's future is stirring a mix of anticipation and speculation. Ford's recent ventures into the EV market with the Mustang Mach-E and the upcoming Bronco EV suggest that the new Edge might follow in their tracks. The transition to an electric SUV would align with company's broader strategy to offer eco-friendly options without sacrificing performance. Under the hood, the Chinese Edge L offers a choice of two powertrains. The base option is a 2.0-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, which delivers 249 horsepower. A hybrid option pairs the 2.0-liter mill with an electric motor to produce a combined output of 271 horsepower. In an interesting twist, the 2025 Edge will be built in China and delivered to the US market. This isn't Ford's first time using this strategy. The company already produces the Lincoln Corsair there and imports it to the States, signaling a shift in global production strategies for certain models. Ford's move to build the SUV abroad reflects a trend of automakers seeking to reduce production costs while meeting market demands efficiently. Another notable example is GM's decision to manufacture the Buick Envision in China and import it, a practice that's been ongoing since 2016. These stories highlight a growing trend where American carmakers are increasingly relying on their Chinese production facilities for certain models, leveraging China's advanced manufacturing capabilities and cost advantages. Importing vehicles this way can reduce costs and streamline operations, but it also invites questions about build quality. Ford has assured that its global standards are met, regardless of where the vehicle is produced, but some consumers may still have concerns about long-term durability and reliability. With the Lincoln Corsair and Buick Envision already following similar paths, these vehicles offer a glimpse into how Chinese-built models perform in the US market. Ultimately, the success of the 2025 Edge will depend not only on its features and appeal but also on how well Ford can maintain consumer trust in its overseas manufacturing processes. Will the Chinese-built Edge meet the high expectations of US buyers, or will build quality concerns affect its reception? Only time will tell. Before unveiling in the US, the SUV will undergo some necessary revisions and tuning to meet the specific needs of the American market. While it is still built in China, Ford is making sure the two-row edge is fully adapted to consumer preferences and regulatory standards in the United States. From fine-tuning the suspension for American roads to optimizing features like safety systems and infotainment options, Carmaker is taking steps to ensure that the imported edge meets its high standards. Ford is likely targeting mid-2025 to get the refreshed edge on U.S. roads, positioning it for success during the peak summer driving season. <laughs>